good looking football and a well worn teddy bear. It's the only thing she has remaining of her son. Young man, 31 years old, vibrant, and in the beginning of his life. I think it is key, Jocelyn, what you said. Going to jail for any number of infractions in this instance. The person has already submitted themselves to the legal system. They're not on the run, they're not a fugitive, they're not caught doing other crimes. They have submitted themselves to the legal system of America. That is a constitutional system that allows us to have our day in court and as well a justice system that determines the ultimate judgment. We are known to that. And our lawyers, Attorney General Crump, and Attorney Grinke, working together, have only simply made that statement. There's nothing revolutionary here. There's nothing provocative here. And let me just say this, this has nothing to do with crime statistics, or bringing down crime, or promoting crime, or turning line up. Let's not mix these two together. Like what Russia did to Brittany Griner? Yes. Convicting her without counsel of merit? Did not listen to any testimony? That is not America. And we, as the regional citizens, Mayor, thank you for being here. And you are a giant in our eyes. Thank you. In the regional community that may have a mishap or break in, None of what we're saying today has anything, if we have to label ourselves, we're crime fighters too. But we are fighting for justice. We will not accept a mother's pain, parent's pain, being labeled as anything but a legitimate fight for justice. And that is what every viewer is seeing, that we are better as a community, as a government, but we can look and say, this is not Houston, Harris County, Missouri City. It is not the basis of who we are as a community. The number of deaths, six in 2023. And so let me acknowledge what is right. The legislation that is promoted by my distinguished colleague, HB, I have HB 3434. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm in the HR. HB 3434. And, and I just wanted, I wanted to read the simple language of it uh, because I don't want people to get confused and say, well, I'm not for that. I, I have no, I don't know what that is about and I'm not for it. It is the simple studying that studying of the reasons, the rhyme, the issues, the causes of what's happening in the Harris County Jail. It is to be able to deal with, oh I hate to say it, the loss of her beloved son. I even hate to say it. The loss of that. But her courageousness, the loss of other loved ones. But also, young inmates, those with mental health crisis,
crisis. This will study all of that. Data-driven solutions. In the absence of that, she has to bring the most powerful voice for civil rights, and I honor him today. Don't look the other way when Ben Crump comes to your town, because his purpose is to try and make sure that good things happen. And I agree. So let me just give an editorial comment. I'm on a 24-hour watch. Somebody would say, I knew they were going to get it. But I'm on a 24-hour watch to fly back to Washington. Because our duty in Washington is to not default.
why in the next 24 hours, today is Saturday, they go out on Monday. I know they can go until midnight. That's the technical ability on Sunday night. It is the end of the day, that is the 29th. And they can just, we have something in Washington called unanimous consent. Nobody said the word in the bill is passed. They may have something of putting it at the desk or unanimous consent or everyone not objecting. And that bill can come out of the Senate and go to the governor's desk. No one should be offended by getting information. And by the way, it is in Evan's name. Thank you, both. And by saying some of the other points that you've made, let me try to be, let us all be try to be helpful on information that you are looking to. We know that you are blessed with good counsel. But I leave this podium. I want no false ways with this family. No false wires, no misinterpretation. They just don't care about crime. They just up there talking about please. Let this be about a mother's pain, but the very truth that this community must accept that if we are to be the fourth largest city in the nation, the fifth or sixth largest county in the nation, that is not befitting, that is not the image that we're trying to have, and we are not trying to undermine family love. We're trying to say they're number one with us, and I'll fight with them. And I think this HB 3434, in complement to the Death and Custody Reporting Act federal law passed, HB 3434 must be passed before the end.